touchscreen computers of all flavors suffer from a notable ergonomic problem. Reach. A traditional computer, unlike a tablet, is always used with input peripherals. And that means the screen is often kept beyond arm's reach. Simply slapping on a touch screen, without addressing the problem of reach, forces users to sit hunched in front of their PCs with arms awkwardly stretched forward. Many will simply give up and go back to using the touchpad or an external mouse. All the hybrid computers we've reviewed so far have addressed this issue by letting users turn their PC into a tablet, though it solves the problem. It also introduces a host of new user input issues and reduces functionality. These trade-offs are just as frustrating for those who want to use their PC as a PC and not an iPad that runs Windows. This is the kind of computer you could use as a weapon in the event of a zombie apocalypse. An Ultrabook sold at this price with the R7S specifications would seem a good buy. And the fact that this is a unique design makes the on-paper value seem better still. Let's see if reality lives up to the hype. Taking the Aspire R7 out of its packaging for the first time is an unusual experience. Because it can be used as a tablet, there's an expectation that the R7 will be small. Like the company's own tablet, all-in-one. But this hybrid's DNA derives from the desktop replacement laptop not tablets and ultra-portables, which means it packs a 15-6-inch display and weighs over 5 pounds. The easel hinge, which articulates both at its attachment to the base and its attachment to the display, enables the hybrid's many uses. This type of design can easily feel cheap. So Acer wound the